कोई भी सपना साकार करने के लिए सबसे जरूरी है सही कोच का होना चुनिए राना एजुकेशन को और करें अपने एन सी एच एम सी टी जे यू जी सी नेट का सपना साकार डाउनलोड दी एप नाउ All right. So, good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope you guys are uh, living happily and healthy, right? So, yesterday we had a session of self introduction, and I taught you about the uh, procedure and what are the steps of self introduction. All right. So, whenever you attend any interview, so you can easily introduce yourself. Fine. So quickly, I'll just share the PPT once again with you. quickly we just take a rapid uh, recap okay for yesterday so uh, i taught you about the steps and uh, the procedure of the self introduction i uh, gave you the brief information about all these uh, steps in the pro uh, procedure right so uh, again i'll just give you the brief introduction all about these things okay so whenever somebody ask us please introduce yourself or please tell something about yourself so we just start from the greetings right we uh, we just uh, say good morning good afternoon good evening according to the timing right or if suppose we are sitting in front of the uh, a number of people or a group or uh, we are sitting in front of the panel so we can say uh, good morning sir or ma'am uh, to or we can say good morning to one and all present here good uh, good morning everyone okay so we can present like this all right and i told you do not say hello hi in front of the uh, interviewer fine okay and again after that if we want to tell about our name then we have to uh, always introduce your name by the full name okay you can say my name is so and so and i am so and so all right don't say this is divya rathor myself divya rathor or you can call me this and that okay don't do this thing all right and the third step is okay now you also have to tell about your place from where you belong okay so you can say i live in delhi i am from delhi or i hail from delhi okay i belong to delhi i was born and brought up in delhi okay so these are the different ways you can tell about your place all right and the fourth one is about your family definitely they would like to know about your family like how many members are there in your family uh, what is your father doing what is your mother doing okay so uh, they really want to know about your family so you have to tell something about your family so just start by saying there are four members in my family including me okay suppose there are four members in your family including you okay and if you want to uh, tell like i have two siblings okay i have two siblings so you can mention about your siblings as well all right and yes one more important thing whenever you tell something about your father and mother so you can easily tell about your father your father is doing uh, like your suppose your father is an uh, uh, government employee you can tell my father is an government employee my father is an private employee but in case of mother in case of mother you want to tell about your mother and suppose your mother is a housewife so you can't say my mother is a housewife okay we have to give some respect so we can say my mother is a homemaker all right and then the fifth one is qualifications yes after that the interviewer will definitely ask us what about your qualification have you done graduation and what are you pursuing what are you doing okay so i we have to tell this thing i am studying in this class okay i am uh, pursuing graduation i am i have done a uh, bachelor's from uh, uh, from any university from delhi university okay you can mention the university name i have done this course computer course or any certificate course you can mention fine but again you must have all the documents okay 
you must have all the documents if you are saying these things to the interviewer so he can ask about your documents he can ask can you please show me your graduation degree he can ask can you please show me your post graduation degree okay you have done computer course all right i just want to see your certificate do you have and in case you don't have then what you will lose the chance okay he will think that you are lying right you will definitely think this you are lying you don't have anything to show all right so always say those things which are already documented with you okay you have the proof you can prove to the interviewer all right uh the sixth one is about your experience okay uh suppose i have experience so i can men uh, mention about my experience i have worked uh in this this areas or in this hotels okay but suppose you don't have any experience you're a fresher so you can say i don't have any experience so far if your hotel or your company gives me any chance so i will definitely prove myself i want to learn something okay so if you give me an opportunity i will definitely prove myself and i want to learn some something from your hotel okay i want to improve my skills my technical knowledge all right and suppose you have the experience so you can mention the hotel name the department's name and the time period all right again uh, in the last i have written here all the experience must be documented again your experience should be documented okay because he can he can ask you okay you have worked in uh, sales and marketing department in which hotel all right in this hotel okay please show me the experience certificate i just want to see your certificate all right Okay. The seventh step is skills and achievements. Okay, so uh, suppose you have uh, many achievements, or you have achieved many things uh, during your school time or during your college time. So again, you can mention it. Uh, like uh, you can tell, uh, I am a goal-oriented person, or I represented my uh, college's badminton team. at national games and won silver medal okay i have won the best employee award at my last company for two consecutive years so uh, whichever experience or whichever achievements you have you can mention there again the document should be there if you have the achievement certificate well and good please keep it documented but if you don't have so do not mention at the time of the interview do not mention and same thing goes for the resume do not mention it in your resume because your resume and your introduction should be same they they should be uh, they should not be any mismatch because he can cross check that the information which you are giving is correct or wrong are you lying are you faking he can check then and there so your resume and the introduction you are giving should be same okay all right next next moving forward that is interest and hobbies obviously he is keenly interested to know about our interest and hobbies he can ask in your free time what do you like to do what is your interest what do you like most okay so you can say i like or i enjoy to play cricket badminton basketball okay whichever sport you like the most you can mention there or either you can say i like to read i am fond of reading books 
newspapers and magazines okay but whenever you are you know whenever you are saying something as i told you earlier whenever you are saying something it should be documented same goes for your interest and hobbies because if you are saying sir i am uh, i like to play cricket so he can ask many question about the cricket okay he can definitely ask about the uh, cricket which player you like the most or either uh, if you like the badminton he can will he can ask the question uh, on the badminton okay and if you say uh, i like reading books newspapers or magazines he will ask which type of books do you read most literature novel which type of books okay he can also ask which uh, newspaper do you read what is the current news of uh, today right and if you say yes i like to read magazines again the same question so always be ready with the answers because the interviewer can ask you anything and it happens most of the times it happens at the time of the mt level interviews okay so always be ready with the answers don't sit like uh, like uh, the norm okay don't sit like that if you don't know the answer you can say sir i don't know the answer but i will definitely try to find out the answer but right now i don't have any answer i don't have any idea okay but in case of interest and hobbies you must know which type of books do you like to read which newspaper do you like to read which sport do you like to play and why who is your most favorite player okay next is i like swimming again swimming is also a part of the interest all right in my free time i like listening to music dancing and cooking again the employer can ask you which type of music do you like to listen soft music okay sofi type of music i mean there are different types of music so which type of music do you like to listen or which type of dance you do okay hip hop classical right again if you say uh, i like cooking he will ask you uh what do you cook mostly which type of cuisine indian or american uh in indian we have different cuisine bengali maharashtrian rajasthani right we have different cuisines so he can ask you but in case if you are lying you are trying to fake you are trying to show off then he will you know easily he will easily find it out that you are lying so do not try to lie do not try to show off okay all right the ninth step is about your goals we do all have different goals right we cannot live the life without any goal without any aim we do have sometimes uh, we dream about the short uh, term goal sometimes we dream about the long term goals right so you can present yourself by saying i want to become a good hotelier or a good employee or an executive chef all right you can say i want to become a front office manager fnb service manager or whatever you want to do in your future whatever you want to become in your future you can tell i see myself as a or an okay i see myself as a good employee as a good chef or as a executive as an executive chef 
okay whatever you want to become in your future you can tell i am just giving you different ways of telling different ways of presenting yourself i aspire to become a n again you can tell any position right my short term goal is to get hired as an mt the management trainee and my go uh, long term goal is to become the journal manager of a, re a reputed company or hotel okay so in this case suppose you are a fresher and you are sitting for the mt level interview all right you can tell about the short term goal that i want to crack this mt level and what about the long term goal because you are a fresher you can say that di directly this thing i want to become the journal manager in so of uh, so company or hotel will you be able to say this thing no because you don't have any experience i can say this thing because uh, so far i have the experience i can say this thing that i want to become the journal manager i have that capability but you don't have because you are just starting your career you don't have any experience right so whenever you uh, sit for the interview always try to say front office manager executive chef food and beverage manager right don't jump you know in the most higher category don't try to jump like this because you are just starting your career you are just a fresher still you don't know nothing okay all right moving forward at the last i've got some impressive vocabulary for you okay these are the words we uh, which we actually use in our daily conversation but we speak in our regional language or in our mother tongue right we always uh, forget to use in english for example obey we know we actually know the meaning of the obey the meaning is take or accept orders right second is disagreeable again we know the meaning of this word the meaning is simple we don't agree with something we are not happy with something unpleasant unenjoyable that is called disagreeable bad tempered if there is someone whose nature is very annoying very irritating he has always bad tempered nature that is called bad tempered anyone can easily make him annoying that is called bad tempered okay fourth one is instead in our daily life whenever we talk to someone with our family members with our colleagues or with our friends we usually use this word instead in place of something okay in place of something if you want to say like instead of doing this thing we can do this thing we can do this or that right so instead of using that word in place of using that word we can say instead iske bajaye right in hindi we say it iske bajaye hum ye kar sakte the but humne ye kiya right the last one is frightened simple the meaning is simple when we get afraid right what is the meaning of the frightened afraid jab hum dar jate hain that is called afraid we are frightened from someone we are afraid from something all right so uh, every day i'll try to give you some new five words which we actually use in our day to day life okay so that you can make it in your habit you can practice at your home at your first class i gave you different ways of uh, practicing yourself different ways of improving yourself 
you can sit in front of the mirror you can talk to yourself or you can talk to the strangers okay so i gave you different ways just keep on practicing all right so before moving to the next ppt i just want to ask you one thing yesterday i told you to write it down your self introduction have you written it yes or no answer me have you tried it at your home guys am i audible i think so far i was audible i just want your answers what about others okay i am audible then please answer me have you tried it at your home have you tried it guys quickly okay if not please do it after this session please because introduction is very important if you are not able to introduce yourself then how will you attend the interview think about the further interview uh, uh, sorry introduction is the first most important thing okay In introduction is the first most important thing but if you don't know how to give the introduction then what will happen in the future right okay so i want to i want to ask you one thing have you ever thought that uh, why uh, the interviewer asks us to introduce yourself to tell something about yourself because everything is already written there in the resume so why he make us to do that why is that so why he he is interested uh in knowing about us why is that so i'll tell you is why is that so right right okay suppose i have this pen i hope you guys can see me i am visible and audible too i have this pen and now i want to check the quality of this pen right i have this pen but i want to check the quality okay how's the uh, how's the writing going to be okay how's the quality of the ink i want to check but until and unless if i don't open it if i don't remove the cap i won't be able to know should i no i won't be able to know how amazing this pen is without using it same thing happens at the time of the interview exactly the same thing happens okay the interviewer already knows everything about us because he has the resume and he had already read the resume but still whenever we enter to the room interview room first of all he ask us please give me the introduction please tell me something about yourself because first of all he want to check he want to check our confidence right and second thing is he want to check whether am i lying or faking or the information is correct or not or the information is written uh, correctly written in the resume or not third thing is what my gesture my body language and fourth thing is what how i'm going to present myself how presentable am i okay he want to check our way of speaking he want to check 
uh, our body posture. He want to check our personality. He want to check how serious I'm about my uh, responsibilities, about my work. How I'm different from others because there are uh, uh, different ca uh, candidates, right? So how I'm different from others? How can I prove myself that I am different from others? Please, you can hire me. I'm different from others. What different qualities do I have? Right? Because we have different qualities. But the interviewer has no idea that I have this, this quality. Right? I can do this, I can do that. But he has no idea because he is stranger for me. Similarly, I am also a stranger for him. But still, he wants us to speak. Right? So there are, uh, you know, many reasons. That is why the interview takes place. Okay? All right. So I'll show you uh, one another PPT. Hold on, give me a second. So, guys, this was our English speaking course ki demo class. Now, on the 9th of October, we have started this course. Now, we have only four classes. We are going to start our whole year of classes. This course, which are in the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is in the first year of the hotel management. It is देंगे आप इंट्रोडक्शन कैसे देंगे आप एमटी की तैयारी कैसे करेंगे सारा कंप्लीट ये स्टाफ इसमें रहने वाला है तो इस कोर्स को ज्वाइन करने के लिए गाइस आप मेरी ऐप में आएंगे इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कोर्स को ओपन करेंगे इस कोर्स की चार वैलिडिटी है आप इसको एक मंथ के लिए ले सकते हैं आप इसको थ्री मंथ्स के लिए ले सकते हैं आप इसको सिक्स मंथ्स के लिए ले सकते हो और आप इसको एक साल के लिए भी ले सकते हो सभी वैलिडिटी के लिए अलग अलग प्राइज यहाँ पे रखे हुए हैं एज पर योर बजट नीड है ना जैसे आप यहाँ पे पे करते हैं आप इस कोर्स में एड हो जाएंगे यहाँ स्टूडेंट्स में आप देख सकते हैं ऑलरेडी यहाँ पे नाइन स्टूडेंट्स इस कोर्स को ज्वाइन कर रखा है है ना और वो क्लासेस को अटेंड कर रहे हैं तो इस कोर्स को ज्वाइन करिए एंड अपनी जो आपकी वीकनेस है स्पोकन इंग्लिश की उसको दूर करिए बिकॉज दिस इज द राइट टाइम है ना अभी आप फर्स्ट ईयर में है अगर हम अगर मैं होटल मैनेजमेंट की बात करूं और ये आपके लिए राइट टाइम है अपने इस वीकनेस को अपनी स्ट्रेंथ में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए सो थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग आई होप यू विल ज्वाइन दिस कोर्स एंड आई सी यू इन द्लास बाय एंड टेक केयर